In this tutorial, we will teach you how to create a mesh typographic image in Photoshop. First of all, we will enter the text. For this tutorial, we have used Tahoma for the font, keeping the size at 300 point. Now select the background layer. Go to the filter menu and select the Add Noise filter. Keep the amount to 12.5% using uniform distribution for the filter. Now add a new layer. Choose DFDDDD for the color fill. Pick up the brush tool with 0% hardness. Increase the size of the brush to the size of the canvas and apply it right in the middle of the canvas. Let's name this layer Layer 1. Once done, change the blending mode of this layer to Multiply. Now select the text layer. Open up the layer style options. Move over to the outer glow tab. Choose B4, B49F for the color fill. Set the spread to 17%, size to 21px, noise to 15%, and change the blend mode to difference. Now duplicate the text layer, rasterize it, move over to the filter gallery and choose the texturizer filter. Set the scaling to 144% and relief to 11. Apply the filter and duplicate the layer. Place the duplicated layer below the original layer. Go to the Filter menu, move over to Blur, and click on the Gaussian Blur filter. Set the radius to 76.8 pixels and click on the OK button. Duplicate the layer on top and open up the Filter Gallery. Click on the Chrome filter and set the detail to 8. Apply the filter and open up the Hue Saturation window. Click on the checkbox titled Colorize. Set the Hue to 49, Saturation to 95, and Lightness to plus 13. Now change the blending mode of this layer to Exclusion. Now that we are done with the text, it's time to bring in the image for the background. For this tutorial, we will be bringing an image of a grunge pattern on the canvas. Place the image layer right at the top and resize it according to the canvas. Now change the blending mode of this layer to Linear Light. Now bring the topmost rasterized text layer above all other layers and change the blending mode of that layer to Soft Light. Once done, position layer 1 on top of all other layers and duplicate the layer once. This will dim down the image a bit, giving it a more dynamic look. 